there are circumstances in which the parts of us show up and perhaps they are parts that we are not as familiar with or parts that we are very proud of, but that's still a part of us. And so cultivating a presence around those parts and understanding where they're coming from is really essential to us then transcending into the person that we want to be in each circumstance. And so I was thinking about this a lot too, because when I'm in an interview, for whatever reason, this one, I was so nervous and I couldn't explain. I just, I was so nervous. I wasn't sweating. My heart wasn't racing, but I just remember not feeling stuck, but just feeling nervous um, with different signs and symptoms that I had not experienced in a normal nervousness before. And I was analyzing like, oh, maybe it's the nerves or whatever. And thinking about the circumstances of the interview and who was there. And then I was also thinking like, oh, there's a lot of positions I've held where I haven't been interviewed and I excelled. I did extremely well. They just looked at, you know, what I did and my, my work and they just put me in those positions. They asked me to go for those positions. And I remember when I walked into this interview last week, one of the directors, one of the leaders actually said, I was so pleased when you put your application in. And so I feel really honored, like, oh, they see something in me and they were really happy that I had applied for the job and felt like maybe I had let myself down in that I didn't perform so well. But it's easy to get caught up in the details or, you know, again, back to that justifying of, you know, I'm, I'm, I can still do the job. I'm good at what I do. And people do see it. And it's okay because a lot of positions I've held have come due to my work ethic and people see that I have qualities um, that they need. And so they put me in those positions or will ask me if I would like to step up. And so it's, you know, when these parts of us show up and they're uncomfortable, we may try and have contingencies around them or create these contingencies or stories to be like, it's okay because, you know, but in actual fact, when I sat with those emotions and sensations that I experienced and I asked the hard questions, while it was uncomfortable, I discovered massive truths that have now released me to, in the future, be my present self. And not every interview is going to work out because not every position is made for me. Not every position is timely for my season. And so just knowing that and accepting that it is okay um, and that I need to show up as my authentic self and only work on that internal state. Like, who am I showing up? How am I showing up? Am I showing up authentically? Am I able to forgive myself when that doesn't happen? Or am I going to sabotage myself or think that I'm less than or perhaps that I'm an imposter because I had one incident where maybe I didn't do so well? So I really found that it's so essential to know your worth. It's a difference between worth and confidence, but to truly understand who you are and that you really, I mean, even with the self-worth that you develop, it's important to always hold true that you're still human. Um, and so I've been walking this this thing out the last few weeks where I've been so aware that I'm human and that I'm going to fail and that I'm going to have things that are not going to go to plan and that I'm going to say silly stuff here and there and that it's okay. It doesn't make me less than. And I think for so long I've held on to this um, ideal you know, we create the ideal of ourselves and our, the ideal of how we want to show up and how we want to be in front of other people. And when that doesn't happen, we're disappointed. But in fact, if we just honor that ideal to ourselves, like what is the ideal that I want to show up for me, then we know that it's not going to be fake and that it's going to be something we can sustain, something, a state of being in mind that we can always um be cultivating in every situation because there's always going to be situations where we cannot predict what will happen and you know you walk into an interview you don't know the questions they're going to ask um i remember killing myself trying to prepare and it was nothing you know of what i prepared for um and so yeah it's just isn't it just funny how we have this it's a journey it really is a journey and we all try and make it as if it's an event, but it's actually a journey. It's an ongoing process that continually happens where we just need to keep tapping back into who we are, what's our authentic self, what do we need, and staying true to the person of our being. Um, 
ourselves rather than having to uphold anyone else's standards. And um, it makes for such a freeing life when we're just like, you know what? Yeah, don't really care. I don't, I genuinely, and I can feel internally that I don't mind what others might think or how they might perceive me. I'm going to have my moments. They're going to have their moments. But amongst it all, it's okay. And it gives me the ability to show grace and forgiveness towards others if I'm able to show it to myself.